good morning and welcome to our live coverage from the Oval. You join us for this match between England and Australia. I'm Mike Atherton and with me in the commentary box is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the one and only David Gower. Thanks, others. We're almost ready to get underway. Earlier, I took a look at the conditions for the day and the pitch has been prepared beautifully. Something for everyone. I'd say it's worth getting at the batters with the ball first, though. Weather-wise, absolutely perfect conditions, not a cloud in the sky. Nice information there from David Gower. It looks like the captains are ready for the toss. Let's go pitch side. Well, they're going to have a bowl. Not too surprising, given the conditions. Right, so we're ready to get underway. Always something special about that first delivery. It can really set the tone for the match. that perfectly a juicy delivery like that on leg stump isn't going to be missed by this batter they just put it away yep. tucked it nicely into the gap pick up a single we'll take the strike Finch comes out to bat in a bit of form, but it'll be interesting to see how they go today. Yes! Lovely timing. Will this one go to the fence? Onto the front foot early, placed it perfectly into the gap, timed it nicely for four more. This is everything. Wood with a superb delivery. Got them trying to drive, but messing everything up. Yep, yep. Huge edge. That's the over. Australia are none for 13. Whoa, the right arm medium bowler is coming into the attack from the northern end. <laughs> Confident appeal, could it be? An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. Difficult period as they come to the wicket. They'll take plenty of time to set themselves up before facing their first ball. Yes. Good precision with the throw, back from the deep. Immediately underway with some runs. Clever, just had to wait on it to make sure of it. That last ball isn't something you'd want to see a repeat of. You don't want to be giving easy runs away. Doesn't beat the infield. 
A little late on that, no run scored. A tidy over and the first wicket to show for it. Nothing less than deserved. The right armour is coming on to bowl from the pavilion end. The captain making some adjustments to the field here. Stokes from the pavilion end. A couple on offer here. It was just a little bit wide, well picked up, and let the ball do all the work, really, to push it down towards third man. Wait there. Finds the fielder with that shot. Just threw the shot too early. the edge. Strong appeal. <laughs> Nicely taken. Quick to latch on to it. An innings that promised much and really in the end delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. With the fall of that wicket, we have a new batter at the crease. Maxwell will be looking to make a strong start to their innings. Yes. It's a good shot, falls straight down the ground. Nothing wrong with that shot. Getting their iron straight away, that's raced for four. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key. Yeah. Time that brilliantly. Well, that was just textbook. Finds the space and power to lift that ball over the top, and it just keeps going. With the changes in the field, the captain looks to be going for a more balanced approach. Quick onto that in the infield. No runs on that occasion, got into position nicely, just too early on the shot. Couldn't find a gap. Edged it. Now then, was there a faint edge? Gone, couldn't ask for an easier catch. So that's the third wicket down. Not a happy person walking off the field. There's a real feeling of disappointment. Yep, big edge. There'll be one run here for them. The edge was very close to going to hands. They're forced to pick up their first runs. Well, that was another good over. You can see the frustration growing on the batters. The captain bringing a good balance to this field, I think. We've seen good control and spin from this bowler. Looking forward to seeing what they can do here. Great shot. Well, it was hammered away, timed perfectly, and placed into the gap. 
would like to see them aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Yep. Very Come quick on. out there, managing to stop it and preventing four runs. Really raced between the wickets after it was clipped away nicely behind square. Couldn't get it through the field. Yes. Nicely played. Quick to get onto that sweep. It was beautifully placed and beautifully struck for four. Australia weren't given much of an opportunity. A very tidy over. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the northern end. No! Edge! What a ball! Huge appeal! Team goes up for that one. They feel pretty confident about this. Taken a really good one, too. A long walk back to the pavilion. This has not been a good knock. Not what you expect from someone of this skill level. A new batter always likes to feel bat on ball early on as they bring a bit of energy to the crease. Wait. And again, yeah. see you later, two wickets on the trot. Starting to get interesting now, that's the fifth wicket. And a very frustrated person is heading back to the pavilion. The team will be after a positive innings from this batter. A great opportunity to come in and put some runs on the board. The crowd are on their feet to celebrate this remarkable performance. trudge back to the pavilion. A good start, but that's all they've managed. They did the hard work and threw it away in the end. Lots of pressure coming into bat. We'll have to wait, though, to face their first ball. Yep. Good shot. A beauty. No point running for that one. That was four off the bat. Beautiful shot off the front foot. The end of a tidy over. Batting doesn't seem to be easy out there at the moment. Good pressure building. Rashi, the right armour, is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Yep. Absolutely nailed it. Just perfection. A majestic shot. You just cannot hit it any better than that raced away to the boundary. The captain making some adjustments to the field here. Yep. Good running, just finding the gap, and that allows for rotation of the strike and keeps the pressure on the bowlers. 
going a bit more conservative with this field. Waiting. Can't get that outside the ring field. A little flick of the wrist to get it round the corner for an easy run. Yep. They make it home, but there should never have been the chance for a run out in the first place. End of the over, eight off it. Australia are six, 58. Broad, the pace bowler, coming into the attack. Yep. Edge. Big shout. Yep. that well onto the back foot and cracks it away a fine display of wrist and forearm working together to pull this away yep. great shot placement exquisite a fine placement and enough timing to get that ball away to the boundary End of the over. Australia are 6 for 69. A new bowler is coming into the attack. The captain's going to change things around in the field. Wow, that's missed a lot. Oh, didn't get the feet moving, played down the wrong line, threw the hands at it, got nothing on the ball. Yeah! Nicked it! Huge shout. The bowler seems very confident with that one. Out! Simple catch, and the keeper makes no mistake. The trudge back to the pavilion. A disappointing display in the end for someone with such batting skills. This one goes down as a fail. Edge, unplayable. Big appeal. Another one goes, two wickets and two balls, and they're on a roll now. An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Yes. Times it nicely. That races away to the boundary. A beautiful shot off the front foot. Just textbook stuff. Zampa has got the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. The Yorker does the trick. Yay! That 
that's number nine down. The bowling's been good so far. The tenth shouldn't be too long in coming, you think. New batter comes to the crease. Never an easy time to come in after the fall of a wicket. Going with pace now. Going more defensive with the field choice. Right. Does very well to get quickly across to that one. Yes! Oh! Loud appeal. Couldn't have played that any better. Surprised they didn't go for a third. Would have been a very simple run. off the middle of the bat you could see by how it whistled away to the boundary just how sweetly this was timed you can see how good this pitch can be for batting you want the player coming forward but it's a tight margin only a touch full and put away yep. oh my that's racing away well that was a really solid shot read the length early to get onto the front foot and that raced away for four 11 runs added there. Australia are 9 for 84. thought it might be a good pitch to bat on at the start of the day, and we were right. It was a long, hard slog from the bowlers, and now it's a big total to chase down. A couple of big partnerships will be required to get these runs. This is a really defendable total. The openers will need to get their eye in very quickly and get the scoreboard ticking over if they're to have any chance. Pick that well, and that's on its way to the boundary. Nothing really wrong with the delivery. Got onto the front foot and found the space to get that one to the boundary. That's gone all the way, right out of the middle. That's a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets onto the front foot, and it's flown over the boundary. Finch, you don't think would be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Really good yes. shot there. A little bit of confusion out in the middle, but they've got back quickly. No harm done. Both batters survive. a much better directed short ball didn't quite manage to get the bat in position it's through to the keeper that's the one bouncer for the over 10 runs added there England are none for 10 the right arm fast bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end yes got their head right in line with the ball a beautiful strike there down the ground Cummins shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots, just need to tighten their areas now. What great reactions, brilliant catch close in.
Well, this is a fantastic wicket. Get the runs down. Really didn't get settled. Looked to be in trouble, sadly, for most of the knock. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should definitely be on the new batter, who strides to the middle. They will be looking for another quick wicket. Well, another chance to bowl that one. Really can't have been wide by much, though. A change to the complexion of this match. Got to get the new batter coming forward early, encouraging them to drive and really attack the stumps. That was a tremendous delivery, fizzed through to the keeper. No more short balls this over. Yes. Out! Good catch! A trudge back to the pavilion, a disappointing display in the end. For someone with such batting skills, this goes down as a fail. Root is new to the crease. They'll be keen to feel bat on ball early on. Going with spin now. Huge shot, that's a massive shot, just incredible. How clean did they hit that? Plays that immaculately with a straight bat. they head back to the pavilion they'll be wishing they went about this innings a little differently not too much to speak of on the scoreboard and with that wicket we'll see a change out in the middle Bersko whose first task is getting themselves settled yes. great shot through the gap caress that nicely through the gap to the boundary a little short on that occasion. Needs to adjust the length slightly to be just a little fuller. Too short on this pitch. And as we've okay. seen already, it makes it very easy to score. Yes. The end of another over. This time, though, some more fielding changes are coming as the power play finishes. Australia are now allowed five fielders outside the circle. I'm not sure what happened with that delivery. Maybe trying the slower ball, but just got it all wrong. Into the gap. Nice shot. You can't fault the bowling. Sometimes your opponent is just too good. Wonderful front foot shot, and there was absolutely no point in chasing that. Doesn't beat the infield. Well, for a brief moment, you thought there might be a bit of strife there. In the end, a good decision not to take on the field. Misses everything. A bit of frustration after that shot. Went after it, but just couldn't lay a bat on it. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot. Yeah, yeah. Beautifully played through the leg side off the back foot. That was clever. Just had to wait on it to make sure of it. A lot of pressure coming to the crease not had the best of weeks leading up to this game and will want to show everyone their strength. Right. 
That's just outrageous. Oh dear, it's been a poor innings under pressure. And now they've got the key batter out cheaply. With the fall of that wicket, the new batter comes out to the crease. They're quick to take guard and face up. Played that beautifully. Saw the short one, got out the way. There are no more of those in this over. Yep. Beautiful cover drive. A hint of movement in the air and eased towards the boundary. Always back in the ball there. Drives the ball away nicely and picked the gap at cover very well. out of the middle of the back. There was a bit of width on that and they've climbed into the shot to send it up and over for six. A boundary off the last ball. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? Oh. Ten runs added in that over. England are four. Stoinis from the pavilion end. Good running. It needed to be as well. Probably closer than they expected. Right there. Couldn't get it through the field. Great shot for six. Moving along nicely and starting to really build this innings. The last one helped the scoring rate, making their intentions clear. Hit that hard, nailed it. The runs are starting to come now. Really good shot for six. This innings is starting to build. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball but you've just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Good bit of timing there. Just a little bit of room given, and the power was immense. It's flown over the boundary. Australia found some good rhythm in that over. They want to maintain it going forwards. Start with the ball in hand again. Blocks that ball out of the way with the pad. couple on offer here. Well, there was a bit of noise there, but it certainly wasn't the bats, and they did well to get back for two. Yeah, yeah. Good-looking shot, back into position easily, and timed it beautifully. All the signs that they're reading the ball well, guided it away off the back foot to the boundary rail. Yep, nicely played. The fielder could only pick that up off the boundary rope. Punch that away through the covers with exquisite timing. Great shot. Now that was beautifully struck with a perfect straight bat. Boundary off the last ball. What's to come off this delivery, I wonder? Flew away with pace. Brilliant timing. A brilliant batting effort gets them home easily in the end. A fabulous all-round performance 
in what has been a dominant display. There's only one team in this one, an exceptional display that saw a very easy win. That's all from us in the commentary box. See you again soon.